Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm back at Molly Stark again. Uh, as well as you saw in the last video, um, at the 1328 mark, I did catch that little boy's voice over here in the children's hospital saying, help me. And I've been in talks with the Metro Parks, and they're giving me the opportunity to actually save the building. But it's going to need a lot of work, and I could definitely use all the help I can get. Um, as most of you know, I do have a petition going online. Uh, if you go to change.org uh, slash Save Molly Stark Sanitarium, sign the petition. The more I can get, the better. Um, but also, I also have a t-shirt that I am actually using the proceeds to save the hospital. So I am currently uh, just doing a really quick walkthrough to show you guys the condition of the building and it's actually it's actually in pretty bad shape um, the vandals have really gotten a hold of it this time and um, there's so much damage um, and the thing that kind of upsets me the most is that they want to turn the building into a public recreation facility um, instead of saving the, uh, and preserving the history the correct way um, but I'm sure if I can get enough signatures and enough support, I can get their minds to be changed and we can save all this. Uh, and I wanna take a moment, um, a huge shout out to Dakota and Layden uh, from Destination Fear, Alex Schroeder, uh, Tanner Wiseman. Uh, thank you guys for signing my petition and, and then backing me up on this. Uh, this is a big deal to me and uh, to have you guys supporting me uh, is definitely um, heart heartwarming to me that you guys want to see this place saved. And I know you guys want to do an episode here. And if I can save the building, you guys are more than welcome to come here. Um, but I'm actually going to try to turn the camera around here and uh, show you guys what the place looks like now. And believe me, it's not pretty. So, just so you guys can see um, what I'm looking at here. You know, Mother Nature is definitely trying to take her back. You can barely see the building anymore from the road uh, due to all the... The overgrowth and everything in the children's hospital is not much better. So, You guys this is a beautiful historical place and just to see it being overcome by mother nature and not being uh, worked on it's just heartbreaking you know I got into the paranormal field years ago and I've learned so much and this is one of the reasons why I continue to be in the paranormal is because of beautiful locations like this and as you can see the front entrance here love the architecture in it you know I'm hoping that with everybody's support you know we can actually save this place and a lot of people are calling me a fraud and a scammer and, you know, everything under the sun right now. Um, but I'm, I'm not. I'm actually trying to do this for real. And in a couple weeks, I'll be back out here again uh, to meet with the director of the parks. And hopefully we can come to some sort of an agreement on what we're going to do with this place. But, I mean, this place at one time was, 
was beautiful. I mean, it's starting to fall apart, but it's going to take a lot. And if I get this place, I'm going to be calling everybody to come out and help me. The more I get to help, the faster we can get this going again. And just to show you, it's mostly surrounded by woods. And this place is... So many people have told me how much they love this place. And my big thing is... I wish people would stop breaking into this location, stop tearing it apart, because it's not cool. Plus, it's not worth, you know, getting busted for trespassing. This place is huge. And I'm going to try to see if I can get a shot. I can't really see with all this overgrowth, but... As you can see, it's got the bat wing design, just like Waverly Hills and all of the other tuberculosis hospitals. The architecture on this place is unreal. Nothing like it since. And if we can save it, then I have a feeling that so many more people enjoy this place. So I'm going to try to get closer to the fence here. I just hope there's no bees or anything because it is a nice summer uh, summer day out. Believe me, the children's hospital is in way worse shape. But as you can see, Mother Nature is definitely trying to take her back. And she's still got a long way to go yet. So if you guys are willing to support me, let's do this. Let's get it back to the way it used to be and make it a place that people can come take tours and learn the history. And maybe even help save some of the spirits that are still here. I normally would be doing this with my regular camera, but my camera broke. And as you can see, people have gotten pretty high up there to get in. So as you can see, on my way back through, she needs a lot. And then don't forget, hit that subscribe button, set all the notifications to all so you guys are aware of when I'm going to be doing this stuff. Uh, there's going to be plenty more videos coming from here, as well as three weeks we'll be at Pennhurst State School uh, we're gonna be going out there for the first time ever really hope you guys can join us there and if you guys subscribe I will try to do a live stream 
come out there during the investigation. That way you guys hear everything firsthand. But please don't let this building go to waste. Help me out. Smash that like button if you can help. And I also have a GoFundMe account set up uh, to anybody that wants to help with uh, the restoration of the building. Which I'll put down in the comments down below or the link down below. Um, guys can come help. Anybody that donates, mention in the comments that you did. And I'll give you, you guys will have a huge shout out coming. Plus your, I'll put your name on a plaque outside the facility to show that you helped. Well, let's save it. Let's do this.